Um, hey, Eric. Yes. Say hey, Rob, hey. Eric. Hi. Oh, hi, hi Rob. Alan. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Rob. We're professionals here. So... <laughs> and, I, and I totally got my so... team on that one. <laughs> That's that's okay, because uh, I'm feeling a little sheepish, because we've actually taken an entire turn of this game, and I wasn't streaming or recording it or broadcasting it in any way at all, and I've been sitting here feeling very bad about, why is nobody watching us this time? Normally we get a handful of people coming to watch us, and I keep checking and checking and checking, and nobody is there. And, um, yeah, so, oops. Does Alan need to take all his cards back then? Is that what no. we're doing? <laughs> no, we're not going to do that, but we're going to sort of briefly go over uh, what, what happened so far. So we're playing some of the Guardians of the Galaxy. We've got Eric playing uh, Gamora. Yep. Um, we've got Alan playing Star Lord, and I am playing Nova, or will be in a moment. At the moment, I'm Sam Alley. And uh, last week, Eric said, "Hey, Alan, you know, if you like playing wacky decks, I'll build you a Star Lord uh, pool deck." And mm -hmm. Rob, we can go up against a Guardian's opponent. And I said, um, okay, because I'm trying not to be a stick in the mud. Um, and so we now have a, a Guardians deck, uh, a, a Star-Lord deck that has things like Live Dangerously that add <laughs> um, uh, plus two to our hand size at the cost of every freaking negative <laughs> uh, thing in the deck. Um, a Crisis Icon, Acceleration... <laughs> Oh God, extra, but that's okay. There's only seven threat on it. I'm sure that we can get rid of it short enough. Uh, and we have to because the crisis means that we can't get rid of the 12 out of 30 um, threat on the main scheme because, you know, I thought this, this is only the second scenario in the galaxy most wanted box. So it can't be that hard. Uh, despite the fact that it's stealing cards from us every time that we discard them from play. So, yeah. This is going fine. This <laughs> oh, is going great, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you all missed Alan taking his first turn. Uh, thanks you all for uh, jumping in and watching. Hello. Eight guides, progresses. Coxies, good to see you back. Uh, so we've uh, one turn in. I am playing Nova. So I am going to use Sam Alexander's Alter Eagle action. Spend one resource of any type. Search your deck and discard pile for the Supernova helmet. Add it to your hand. Put it into play instead if you paid for this using a wild resource. Well, I got a couple of these powers. They're wild resources. This is so I'm going to take a look here at my deck, looking for my helmet. And drop that into play right there. All right. So this gives me the aerial trait, which hopefully will help. And I can exhaust it to generate a wild resource. Now, what am I going to do with this wild resource? So we're done being uh, Sam. Um, so we are going to exhaust this to generate a wild resource to play pot shot. Double the number of wild resources generated while paying for this card. Here are action attack, deal four damage to an enemy. Let's go ahead, deal four damage to the collector. Uh, that brings him down to 28. All right. Now. Now, 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 now. Um, then, after you use one of Nova's basic powers, 
ready supernova helmet. Um, I've got a port of a mere one. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to port this and ready the helmet. All right. So now there are no minions out. I've got a Hulk. Um, got a Hulk. I've got an upgrade. Let's see. When you play an aggression attack event, it's paid for. So that's going to cost me three. Um,. I'm checking to make sure that this isn't going to discard stuff on us. <laughs> I have to use at least two science to pay for it, though, and I've only got the power in all of us. Um, where did... Oh, I haven't used this, though. I readied that. All right, so that's a wild. I'm going to call that a science. That's a wild. I'm going to call that a science, and I'm going to spend the Hulk scares me right now. Um, can you play an aggression attack event? If, hey, yeah, I don't even have to exhaust them. All right, so we'll put that out into the fray. It's going to stick around a little bit. And I think, think I might be done. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm done. All right. So Eric, you're up. The first Yep. The first thing I'm going to do um is Gamara has the ability to look at the top card of your deck. If that card is an attack or a thwart event, draw it. Um I'm assuming if it's not, I just put it back, right? That's correct. Okay. So I'm gonna take a look at this. It is a thwart, so I do draw it. What did I draw? Uh, push ahead. Uh, exhaust your hero, remove. Th okay, so that. Mm, that would be nice, but. Three. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to continue as planned. Uh, push ahead would be nice to get out, but I'm I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to use push ahead, um, and I'm team building to put out multitasking, not multitasking. Sense of justice. Sense of justice allows me to generate a resource for uh, thwarts and attacks. Um, and then. On the floor, on the floor. Those are events. Ah, my plan did not work. Uh, that did not work. Does um, it ever? No, my plans never work. That is correct. All right, we're just going to lit, we're going to see what the next deck gets us. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is do a hero action. I'm going to use multitasking and spend a hero action confuse, to confuse, take a point of damage and confuse the an, an enemy. So that's going to confuse the collector. So he is now confused. I am then, I am then, yeah, this is, this was the plan. I was sort of hoping I didn't notice that neither of these were uh, thwart events. I thought they were. Um, I'm going to attack with Gamora, attack, and Gamora does uh, flip over to Gamora. Uh, I'm going to attack with Gamora and do two damage. Um, after that, I'm going to use counter, cross counter to spend upside the head 
to do to confuse the enemy. If the enemy's already confused, I stun it. So that just takes one of those attacks off the table. Um, and I think that that will stall things for a little bit. Um, all right, that's the end of my turn. All right, uh, that brings us to the end of the first round. So let's ready our cards and draw up our hands. Remembering we get plus two to our hand size. That is a lot of cards. Ooh, hold on over here. How does this work? So I have a resource card. I'm going to jump over here. I have a resource card called Connection to the World Mind. Connection to the World Mind does not count towards your hand size. I guess that means I get an extra card. Yes, it does. Very boring. All right. All right. Um, all right. So I guess that brings us to the villain phase. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that's going to happen is one threat per player is going to go on to the main screen. Oof. Uh, okay. So we're so we're halfway there. Um, so as nice as that side scheme is, mm -hmm. and plus one for the acceleration. Yeah. So I think we need to get rid of that soon. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Then the villain activates starting with Alan. So you're in hero form, so he's going to attack, but he is tough or stunned? He's both. He's confused. Oh, no. Yeah, he shouldn't be tough. He should be stunned. So, um, instead of attacking, we're going to discard the stun. So, um, Alan, you dodge that one, so to speak. But that means that I take the next one. I don't have any allies. His attack is only a one. So, I think I'm going to get rid of a trying to walk across me and then I'm not going to defend because how bad can this be so do I have anything in defense in my hand Angela dive bomb nope all right so he attacks starting at a one. I deal a boost card, getting a one. Um, so I take two damage. I am okay. Okay. Eric. He attacks me. I'm going to tank it. Deal a boost card. Let's see what we got here. He's doing two. However, the moment he does that, I am tapping sense of justice and putting out cross counter cross counter a uh, hero interrupt when you would take any amount of damage prevent three damage deal one damage to the enemy and remove one threat from the scheme now gamora's power after you play an attack event remove one threat from a scheme and then precision after you play a thwart event deal one damage to an enemy this is both an attack and a thwart can i do both of those Sure. 
Okay. So I take so, no damage. Before keep talking. I take no damage. Be, you said before. I was about to do something. Is it before anything I'm about to do? Or I'm trying to remember. All right, so the crisis icon, if a side scheme has the crisis icon, that side scheme must be discarded before threat can yeah. be removed from the main. I was yes. just checking the language to make but, sure it wasn't threat or thwarting as it was. Yeah. All right, so what are you doing? Um, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so I take no damage. I do two da two damage to the collector. I remove two threat from this scheme, and that is my attack round. All right. Um, so now we are going to draw encounter cards. We are drawing a total of four. So Alan gets the first. I get the second. Eric the third. Alan the fourth. Oof. All right. Go I, ahead. Alan, I feel sorry for you, but you brought it on yourself. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear Alan. Alan I can't Can you? hear you. Alan is muted. So he's I was muted. Things. Sorry, there was a loud car outside. Um <laughs> yeah. I actually have a card that can't that counteracts the treachery, but it's yeah. not worth it because it's like Yeah, okay. Yeah, probably yeah. not worth it. You, not you worth dodge it. Yeah. Villain so resolve this. Okay. So do I draw a boost card for that? Yes, you do. You draw a boost card. Great. He does one point. So, yep. So he attacks you for one, and then we resolve the star on the boost. Deal one damage to each character you control. So you're going to take a total of two. Okay. Not too bad. Oops. Next. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Did you you did shuffle this deck, right? Do you defend? No, I take it. Maybe not. Uh that's <laughs> literally the exact same thing twice. So I take two more. All right. It's getting dangerous. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Review. Now, if you had something to cancel this, that would be useful. Yeah, I am going to. Can't I burn one of these cards for this? What do you mean, for burn what? one of these cards? Well, this costs one point to play. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can burn any. You you have to pay yeah. for yeah, it. Yeah. So I'm going to spend this guy and play this, and the bad guy attacks me instead. So I draw a boost card. <laughs> Jeez. And he does two points. Oh, that hurt. Ouch. Yeah, <laughs> it's better than your set aside nemesis. That's for sure. Yeah. Wow, uh, that was not fun. Well, that's All what right. happens when you get four um, encounter cards. But you got you lucked out on that one. I'm sorry. I that did. Went, that went as best as could be imagined. That's the luck of Star Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I get an advance. The villain schemes. So, uh, but he's confused, so we're going to take that instead. That was easy. And it is possible that that deck was on shuffle. Eric? All right. Did this so be I put my card back in and shuffle it? Yeah, that should be discarded. Uh, I've unrevealed the, the villain scheme, so 
I think that that was not shuffled. Um, <laughs> so, all right, he. I have to deal a boost card for that. I don't have anything to stop this one. Um, he schemes for two plus just two. Not all right. All right. Okay. All right. Um, that was a little interesting. Um, I guess I take the first player token and start the next turn. All right. So, um, I was going to play this on myself, but I might give this to Star Lord. That doesn't help a whole lot. Okay. <clears throat> so I think it might be time to call on our dear friend. Nick. Oh, but Nick Fury leaves play. Fury does leave. Um. All right, so okay, here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is buy five. We're gonna figure out how to play it. So seven damage to an enemy cost four. Power of aggression is gonna be two of that four. Uh, I want to use. All right. Well, that's okay. So we'll count that. That's three. That's four. This is all wild, so I'm going to count it as a science resource because when you play an aggression attack event, if you paid for that event using a science resource, increase the amount of damage that event deals. By its printed cost. So I'm going to do seven damage to the enemy uh, plus four for the printed cost for 11. Which brings him down to 13. Now. Clear this off. Uh, there's still no minion, so I'm going to spend one to play downtime. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give that uh, to Star Lord because I have a feeling he might need that. Probably soon. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> and Angela. Um, I may have done this wrong. may have done that. Um, I did this. Okay. I'm going to thwart for one. I need to... It was nice to get the cards. But I'm not feeling this. <laughs> uh, doing that gets the helmet ready, uh, which is not enough to put in Nick. Yeah, this is not great. Um, oh. Yeah, I think I screwed up because I'm ending up with three cards in my hand. 
All right. I think I think I can't do anything. I mean, I could put a minion into play. I don't, I don't think that actually is going to help me. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm done. Eric. Yeah, I even with two cards, this hand I don't have enough. It's <laughs> it's a little irritating. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use Eros and the Fulsalade. I don't know how to pronounce that. To put out <laughs> the city, C I T T, uh, or a sit. Put that out. Um, we're then going to um, play Acrobatic Move for two. I've already used my power this phase, right? Power? My... When you play an attack event, you can remove thwart, you can th remove threat from a scheme. I did that earlier no. with um you did that during I the haven't done it this villain's attack, right? Uh, Dylan villain's attack. Okay. So I can use that. All right. Yeah, so, so this is the hero I, fate. All right. So I will remove one threat from here. Um to to put that out. Um, and this causes me pain because I really wanted to have a, have Gamora's sword out, but I'm gonna spend Gamora's sword, or no, let me put this in order. Um, Gamora will then thwart for two to get rid of this scheme. But that goes to the collector. Nope. Oh, right, sorry. Unfortunately. Um, I'm then going to pay two. Did I do the two damage for acrobatic move? Um, what is he at? 13? No. No. Yeah, I didn't do, do it. Some damage. Okay, so I do the two damage for that. Um, I then pay two resources to ready Gamora. And... How much before this goes to Max Worker Player? I'm actually more worried about this scheme. You guys can do damage better than I can. So I'm going to thwart on the main scheme for two, bringing it down two. And is this is supposed to be a 1B or 1A. I, I'm confused about that. It's supposed that. to be 1B. It's 1A is the other side. It's supposed to be 1B. Of the it is 1B. Okay. All right. All right, Alan, you're up. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> do I back off or do I keep going full pedal to the metal of Star Lord? Uh, I don't know what to That's do. That's always hard. Uh, to say. I already have two of those out. It's not good. Well, um, I do kind of like that. So I'm going to do spend strength to put out city, the same card Eric just put out. I am up. Oh, hold on, be... hold on, hold on. Oh, so um, sit has a little starburst in front of it, which means that it is a unique card. Oh, do not have two copies of it out. That changes everything oh, I'm going to do. I, I'm sorry, Alan. I did not realize no worries. that. I didn't realize that either. So that changes uh, everything. All right. That's actually for the best. Um, it's probably best if I don't go too Star Lordy. Um, I do like that. So, Eric, is yours uh, exhausted? Do you use it? I did it use it. It doesn't say exhaust. Um. So I'm oh, going. Does. To, yes, it does. I'm going to spend one 
I'm not going to do Daring Escape. I'll put, that, put this guy out. So every Guardian I control gains plus one thwart. I will spend two strength, and I will reduce my collection by one. Yep. Okay. Um, I like that. Then I will... Uh, I'm going to thwart for three. Because it's getting a little bit up there. Yeah. And he's yeah. kind of... Yeah. And because I have exhausted everything, I am basically defenseless. Ugh. You're ready before you act. I will, and I'll be able to draw. You know what? I'm going to stay in Star-Lord. Okay. Oh, right. that's, dangerous. that's dangerous. That makes me nervous, but we'll just do it. <laughs> I mean, we're at 13. I think we can take a turn of warding now that the deck is... No, uh, I'm okay. I have uh, I have this card here, metagame, so I can take damage away from myself. Um, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Let's ready and draw. Now we get five. Yeah, opportunity five. Holy cow. Love it. Well, this card's free. <laughs> it got free for me. Interesting. Did not win your previous game of Marvel's Champion. Yep. And we did not, so... We did not. The player would be defeated. They set their hit point dial to one. Okay. All right. Might buy us some time. Let's find out. So, we are going to get three threat on the main scheme. Um, but just three. Because we got rid of that spell. Then the collector is going to activate against me. I'm at 8 out of 10. I don't have any funky defense stuff going on, but I am still going to not defend. Let's give it a three. Ah. Okay, so maybe I should have. There's three. Uh, icons on that, so I take four damage. Ouch, that makes me nervous. Yes, yes, it does. Okay, um, so that's where I'm at. Who's next? That would be me. Um, even though I see how much damage that did to you, I'm gonna risk tanking it. Um, this card has not loaded for me. Tell me how many damage I have. One. <laughs> Just one. One. Just one. All right. <laughs> All right. I am also going to tank well, it. So for a total, of, it had one icon, so you take two. Oh, two. I'm for all, some reason, get, but I have a question. Did not load. Oh. What's your question, Alan? So for metagame, it's a hero action. That's right. Does that mean I can only play it during the hero phase? That's right. So I can't use this right now. That's right. No. Oh, that's a miscalculation on my part. Um, <laughs> you know what? Boy. You know what? I am going but to defend you Alan. have You have get good. Alan has get good. Alan has get good, so but so I can't play it right now. He's going to attack me right now. No, he's going to attack it. I, so to be get out. good 
is a forced interrupt. Oh, I thought oh, it was an upgrade. Oh, it is an, an upgrade. upgrade. It's not Alan. It's an yep. upgrade. Yeah. I am defending Alan. I am defending my friend. I, I am going to jump in front of this bullet, and I am going to take it. I defend for two, and that's what I'm doing. So All I get the right. card. Okay. And it doesn't one. load for me again. But one. Well, I defend for two, it so I don't take one, any damage. Uh, boost symbol on. All right. Wow, now, thank you, Eric. It has Star Lord is a better friend than I will be. Isn't it? What? <laughs> All right. I'm looking is, is that the teapot? I don't know where the teapot's coming from. Okay. It's just weird. Where'd you get it? Where'd that teapot come from? Oh, it's here? That was the um, teapot. So uh, I, my, oh, no, never my mind. screen is loading weird. Never mind. Don't forget about it. Okay, so I take no damage. Alan, you are safe All right. until the encounter phase. So I draw the first encounter card. The next one's me. And then I resolve the first encounter card because we don't have any extras this turn. And I get psionic ghost when revealed. You are confused. You're already confused. Take one damage. That's okay. I'm not going to be doing a lot more boarding. Eric. Okay. Uh, I can't read it. All right. Biogram image. Attached to collector. When collector would take any amount of damage, put this card face up into the collection. Prevent all of that damage. Then place threat on the main scheme equal to the amount of amount prevented this way. Hmm. So ouch. Speaking of main scheme, did you remember to put threat on the main scheme this round? Uh, 16 seems yes. low. It went okay. down, it went down to a bit, and then we added three. Uh, okay. Okay. We thwarted a bit last time. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, it's a side scheme. All right, so side scheme, it starts with three threat. Uh, we'll have to look up hinder. The player who defeated this side scheme may play a card from their hand, reducing its resource cost by three. Wow. Um, but we get a, um, an acceleration thing. Yeah, and what does Hinder do? I think Eric's going to talk about that. No. <laughs> uh, I can. <laughs> hinder. Hinder on side schemes uh all right now this is the one i never understand um does it add here we go where are we um when a card with the hinder keyword is revealed, it will be followed by a number. Place that many of additional threat on the card. Which I think in other ways happens. Yeah, it's right, so, so we're if gonna it says... get another six. <sighs> All right. And this card, again, right. is not loading for me. For, so what does this card do? Hold on a second. Or if, Alan, you want to take over. Which card? The crystal ball? Mm -hmm. uh, the, um, basically, it is adding a, an encounter card to us during the encounter phase. But other than that, uh, the player who defeated this scheme may get may uh, play a card from their hand, reducing its resource cost by three. Which so, 
it's it's going to increase. It's an acceleration, not a uh, encounter card. Mm -hmm. The oh, main sorry. threat will go up faster. I thought that was a an encounter card symbol. No, nope. the plus. That one looks very much like a card. Oh, very good. Okay. Um, this looks like the shape over here. Gotcha. All right. We made it through the turn. Um, we collector did. is down to only 11 damage. Eric, why don't you take the first player and see if we can do something about this mess? Okay. Uh, so, Alan, are you going to switch over to Star uh, to your alter ego this round to heal? I probably will have to. I don't see a way okay. around it. Um, all right, so that that sort of defines what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a little bit used. Oh, I have to. Mm, so either I do that or I do. Okay, so I'm going to play group as well. <laughs> and Martin X to use to exhaust city and ready myself. Um, I am then going to tap to attack the collector. Um, now. Do, I do damage, right? Is that damage going through? Or is that damage me? I, because um, I have inside the head. When a hero makes an att basic no, attack, that will damage, basically. That won't work. Okay. Then we're doing something different. I'm, I, I can't, I can't be useful uh, is, is the, the up, upside of this. So, um, I am going to spend, um, I'm going to spend Groot, uh, if I'm going to be able to enter play, okay, so I can put, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Um, so I can put out Nebula. And then I could get Nebula to attack, and that would get that off. And then I could, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So I am going to spend, I hate doing this, Groot and Martin X to put out Nebula. And so it's going to add to his collection, but that's that. When... I put out Nebula search after Nebula enter plays search for a tack or thwart. Um, and I can pick whatever I want, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, acrobatic move. Um, let's see. Thwart. Push ahead. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, we're going to do that. I'm going to take push ahead because that's going to be more useful in the long run to keep us alive. Um, so I'm going to put that out um, and um, yeah, because then I could do six and even that's he 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 probably won't scheme for six. I think that's high. Scheming for six would be a, a high. He'd have to get. Yeah, he can scheme maybe for for five, but not for six. All right. So um, Nebula is going to attack, do damage, and put up and take this off. Right. Um, okay, collector, when you take any amount of damage, put the card face up into the collection, prevent all that damage, then place threat on the main scheme equal to the amount prevented that way. So, yes. Yeah. So, two goes on here. That's the best. That. And then I am going to spend Keen Instincts and Upside the Head to play Push Ahead. Oh, I can't do that. 
I cannot do that because I cannot exhaust my hero. Damn it. I did that wrong. Um, I'm going to play push a hit. So I'm going to play push it. Ah. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. Can I get a mulligan on the push ahead? Because it's not going to work at all. Sure. Because. Uh... There we go. That's not going to work. Uh, <laughs> nope, that's not going to work. Nothing's going to work. Nothing's going to work. I've completely screwed up. Um, yep, we're going to go with this. Okay. So, um, I will still attack with with Nebula, um, and then I am going to spend. Yeah, OK. I don't have enough cards. Um, <laughs> I never have enough cards. I never. We're going to spend upside the head to put out keen instincts. We're going to tap, um, tap a uh, sense of justice to play multitasking. We're going to call that a knowledge resource. Um, oh, it is a knowledge resource. So I get to remove two threat from a scheme, remove two here, and remove two here. And that was not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, that sucked. Uh, Alan, sorry, I took so long. You're up. <laughs> no, that's OK. I don't know how Star Lordy I want to be again. Uh, <laughs> and, well, <laughs> I can be really Star Lordy, but man, it, it's like crazy Star Lordy. Or I can just be safe. I don't know what I, to do. I would say go full Star Lord. Why not? All right. Um, in that case, I, just make sure you put out get get thing good, is, so you can so when you die, you come back. <laughs> oh yeah. So the very first thing. So that's free. So I'm just going to put that out. Um, that's not a problem. We're that's doing actually poor enough that continuing to do worse is okay. <laughs> yeah. That is. Fair. Um, so, oh wow, that actually kind of works out all around. Um, okay, so then I am going to do my interrupt. Uh, when you play a card from your hand, which I just did, deal yourself one face down card and reduce your count by three. I'm dealing myself a face down a counter card. That means I'm going to be reducing. I can't have two of these out, can I? Event element gun. You can yes, have you two. can. Uh, have they're two. not unique, so yeah. But I kind of want to have Necasonic Teenage Warrior out instead of two of those. And so I'm going to spend one of this, and I'm going to put Necasonic Teenage Warrior out. Then I am going to... Um, oh. Well, it doesn't really help me, so I'll save that for somebody else. I am going to, she's going to go ahead and thwart for two. 
Um, she doesn't actually take any damage when she thwarts for two, so that's nice. I want to get that sort down. Um, then uh, on the side thing, I'm also going to spend this for two points, and I'm going to reduce my collector's edition by one card. So that's down by zero. And now we're oh wait, does she have guardian? She does not. Um, yeah, each ally yeah. you control gains the guardian trait. So oh, so she, she thwarted for three then. So she thwarted for three mm -hmm. because I have this card out. Each each guardian character you had control gets plus one. Nice. Okay. So then Star Lord is going to thwart for three. Nice. Then I'm going to put out <laughs> Daring Escape. Um, deal yourself one face down a counter card and ready your hero and draw one card. <laughs> So he is ready. I will draw. Oops, not that. I will draw an encounter card. And what card did I get? Make it a good one. Holy cow. Um, yeah, you can't get that out. I can't get that out no matter what I do. So I guess he's just going to have to sit there. That's okay. Well, it's kind of, uh, it's okay. Then I'm going to exhaust him again for another three. Except you do have an element gun. I that requires oh that's right. Resource. It only costs one uh resource of any type. So then I'm going to spend this resource. I'm going to exhaust my element gun and do three points. And after all that's done, I think I might have to switch into my alter ego because I am a sitting well. Oh no, I'm gonna get then she's going to get that Negasonic is going to generate a fourth one too. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, for me, not for you. <laughs> That's three. <laughs> I'm going to get the extra encounter card, but sure. <laughs> I'm going to go to Peter Quill and um, rest a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, I think I might need to recover as well at the end of this turn. Um, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, hold on. I mean, so I don't know. I have get good out. If you're going to recover, I could stay in Star Lord and just and just tank it okay. one more time. Good. If you're willing, yeah, that's fine. Because I have a get out of jail free card, so I'll do that. I'll stay in Star Lord. All right. Um... So I attacked for one there. Um, I don't have any events. None of this is going to work. I'd kind of like to get this. But if I get the mobile bunker out, I will not be able to play Nick Fury this Um, Except. Nick Fury. All right. So, oh, I don't need him to defend if I'm going to be in form. Okay. Shoot. Do I really have Nick Fury in my hand and not put him into play? It is an option. That seems absurd. Um, but also spending three cards to basically four cards to draw three. Um, of course, if I do four, that's still not going to be enough to defeat him. Crap. All right. Um, oh. All right. All right. Um, I got. I got a plan. I got a plan for the future. I got a plan for the future. So. All right. 
So I'm going to use the helmet. And I'm going to use unleash, spend unleash for one in order to bring out. the mobile bomb. Then I need to do more damage to this guy. Um or I could unconfuse myself. So now I am going to No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, this is stupid. This is stupid. Let me think this through for one more second. I'm sorry, guys. So we're going to do it this way. Come um, on, Rob. I was so quick and efficient with my turn. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play this upgrade, giving me plus one attack. Um, then I'm going to use the helmet. That doesn't do it either. Okay, still going to be a, a wasted resource no matter what. Um, the helmet and Nick Fury will put out the bunker. Um, I'm going to attack. What is he scheme for? He schemes for two. I forgot Whatever. you had this guy, um, Rob. Sorry? I forgot you I'm had someone on the phone. Three. Yeah. That's fine. Um, I recover for three. Um, I can't do anything. Okay. I'm done, which means we're done, which means we ready cards and draw up our hands. And I got another connection to the world mind. I got a lot of cards. Including Moon Girl. Hmm. Oof. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. This... We ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. I'm going to take an attack. Um, do I want to put no. Nebula in the way? No. No. We're going to add okay. three to the main scheme. Now you're going to... Four. Why four? Crystal ball. Okay. Uh attack. Right. Um I oh I don't know. I put Nebula in the way that goes up and I got three in that collection. If I get five, I'm screwed. Um, um wait, what is the, you, well, so you already have... it's when we're fifteen total. Oh, we 15 total? We only okay. have three in there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nebula is going to tank it. I get take an attack. Um, One that's enough to kill her. Token on it. Yep. None of the collector's cards loaded for me. Oh, so she goes to your collection. Goes into the collection. Okay. So that's that. All right. Um, 
Negasonic Teenage Warrior is actually going to defend this for me because um, I'm kind of low on points. So, so it does. Oh, thank God. Um, three points of damage. So she's just dead, right? Yep. And goes to the clock. Thank you, Negasonic Teenage Warrior. You live Four your head. life well. <laughs> All right. Um, Alan, just so one thing. She's called Negasonic Teenage Steve. Warhead. Oh, is it Warhead? I thought it was Warrior. Warhead. What did I say? <laughs> Warrior. Oh. Well, I'm Star Lord. I'm not a gram grammatist. Yeah. yeah that's a bit... So he schemes for two plus two for four. And then the Sonic Ghost schemes for another two for six, bringing up 17. Ouch. That's not good. All right. Um, and now we get encounter cards, starting with Eric. Oh, boy. Uh, deal encounter card. One, two, three. And Eric no is... extra because Negasonic's uh, gone. Why are we getting the fourth now? We aren't. That was from Negasonic. All right. She's gone. All right. Well, we so here's mine. Probably won't be able to read this. Yep. Uh, when revealed, choose one. Put the highest cost card from your hand face up into the collection or discard the highest cost card from your hand and place threat on the main scheme equal to its printed cost. So either I discard the highest cost card from my hand into the collection, or what's the other option? Well, you're you're just you're discarding the highest cost card no matter what. Yeah. So either no, you're going to put it into the collection or put the cost in case case four onto the main threat. I'll put it into the collection, I guess. That's getting pretty high. All right. All right. Well, let's see how bad this is going to be. First up, when revealed, put the lowest cost card you control face up <laughs> into the collection. All right, that's fine. Uh, ah, so that would be... no, that you control. Oh, one of these then? Yeah. So it that's would fine. in fact right. be meta game uh, downtime. Why wouldn't it be meta game? It would be meta game. That's not that bad. Although the collection is getting kind of out of control. Go over there. All right, next one. Let's see. Uh Sonic Ghost, when you were you are confused. If you are curious, so I'm confused. Great. So now I'm confused. And last one is oh boy. Attached to your identity. Attached character gets minus one to everything. Take one damage and spend two resources and discard this card. Ugh. That's not good. All right. That card big? Oh, I got the inconspicuous box. The lowest cost card you control. Face up into the collection. Oh, man, that sucks. So I think I know now why it is face up because I will probably want to spend resources or exhaust to get that back. Well, that's not fun. Why is this card so big? Yep. Because uh, it's an encounter card. Where do I put it? Just leave it up here? Yeah, you can just leave it up here. All right, that's fine. All right. Um, I guess Alan, you're first. The first player. Great. That was that was really annoying. I had a perfect hand, and it took it from me. That's so annoying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have no idea. Take one damage and spend resources. Oh my gosh! What do I even do in this mess? All right, so. I really want dog pool out. Although he does have extra one to thwart. Uh, hmm. 
What does the exclamation point do again? Um, means you cannot remove threat from the main scheme until that card is removed. So it prevents a minion from activating, but it also means that we cannot remove threat from the main scheme. That's not going to work. Um, all right. Um, so I don't need that, but then I can do that. So that means that, and then I don't want that. I guess we're just going to have to go to town here. All right. Um, I guess we're going to have to be all star lordy. So I am going to, uh, spend one. I'm going to spend this point. I'm going to do three damage to him. Alan? Yeah. Um, can I ask you to do the three damage to the main villain instead? And I will do three damage, four damage to him. Uh, sure. Done. So that's three damage to him. Um, then I am going to, what am I going to do? I have to, so I can't thwart anyway. So if I spend two resources, so I can spend two resources. So I'm going to take one damage. I'm going to spend two resources and I'm going to spend, I think I'm going to spend this and this, because I'm not going to get them out anyway. And this would then go away. Because I don't like that. End of the collection. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, that collection is getting a bit big. Yeah. Um, and so is that. So. And I'm going <laughs> to, oh, this is a tough one. Um, <laughs> seven, nine. I'm going to burn these two. I don't really want to do it. And I'm at least going to. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Reduce the collection by one. So can I ask you, instead yeah. of taking that back, could you take back my helmet? Oh, sure. Totally. Thank you. Um, and then I don't know if I should attack or if I should try to thwart just to get rid of confused because I really don't like having confused because I can't thwart. Um, yeah, I'm just going to burn that to get rid of confused. Um, but at this point, I am going to have to go into my alter ego because now it's getting a little bit silly. <laughs> I'm well, going to have again. You still have to get good. I do, but that's going to like reduce me to one, and I'm dead. But why? Well, I, I guess I'll. Yeah, that's well, true. you can take them out. All right, all right. I'll start. Yeah, I, no, I mean I think I'm going to get rid of that guy. This guy's going to be gone. Then I'll start lord it. All right. I mean, it's it's just an argument. Don't don't let me talk you out of it. If you want to, no, no, no. Over... I, I, looking at the amount of threat we have right now, it's really really high. So I think that's probably the the best bet. All right. Um, and I'm done. So I am going to recover. Um, then I am going to use connection to the mastermind as if it were a mental resource because I can spend one resource of any type to get the supernova helmet, add it to your hand or put it into play instead of you pay out oh, with a wild resource. So I did. Get that back. Now. Um, I now realize I should not have put the champion's mobile bunker even into play. Uh, because those cards are oh, they're discarded from hand, so that's okay. 
Mm. That's it. So I'm going to use this, draw two cards, and see what my options are. Um, pitch back. Oh, I like that. Um, mean girl. You don't like this. Uh, all right. All right. So I am going to discard into the fray and this as the other part of uh, the bot hit. Now. Um, I don't have a way to red this. Here. Okay. Here we go. 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 This is going to be fun. You ready for this, Eric? This is going to be fun. I promise. Um, sure. <laughs> I am going to use my supernova helmet. Oh, I'm going to flip over and become a hero. I'm going to use my supernova helmet to generate a wild resource. And then, hot shot. Double the number of wild resources generated while paying for this card. Attack, deal four damage to an enemy. Um, that four damage is going to go to the villain really not the sign of ghost then yep. then pitch back play only if you have the aerial trait i do because of my helmet after your hero attack deals four damage to an enemy um so we're gonna play this and we're gonna do four damage to the ghost Okay. Um, is there reasons for me to do this ghost instead? No, I'm doing that one. Any I opinion? promise down that I'd kill it. Spend so one to pay for that. Then um, when you play an aggression attack event, if you paid for that event using a um, mind resource, increase the amount of damage that event deals by its printed cost. So I am, in fact, going to do them in the opposite order because that will reduce the villain. Okay. Now, we advance the villain. When revealed in player order, each player must choose to either put the top card of their deck face up into the collection or take three damage. Um, uh, I'll take three. Are you going to take three damage? Uh, uh, I'll take three. I will put a card in the collection. All right, so, so uh, ten. So we're five cards away. <laughs> yep. I'm this collection seven. mechanic is annoying. <laughs> I do sometimes wish that there were more scenarios that were just, you know, kind of like the Rhino, just beat up the villain. Well, no. I mean, it, this is annoying. It's it's a fun annoying. It's adding a new challenge. I don't, I don't have to like it to have fun playing the game. This is, this is what I, makes the game I get that, but I still think it would be good. Uh, like, I, I, I think that in the release that they have, there still aren't enough. They don't have to. They don't all have to be one or the other. I just. I think the balance is a little off. I. I would prefer just a couple more. Hey, 
let's just beat up an interesting guy. Um, so I can't play light speed flight. Can't play the helicopter. Anyone have anything that gives somebody else a resource? Nope. I'm right. resource. Uh, I guess I'm stuck with these two. two. So I'm done. All right. All right. Um, so I was going to do something awesome. I'll do just something cool. Um, the first thing I'm going to exhaust you and Mora, take one of these out of the collector's edition. Um, then I am going to exhaust set. Nope. Uh, I am going to exhaust uh, keen instincts. And I am going to pay set pace to put out decisive blow. Decisive blow does four damage. I'm going to do that to the psionic ghost. Thank you, Eric. And take that out of play. Then okay. I'm going to play set justice. And I will pay. pay Conditioning room to play forward moment. Um, because I have already pay, played an attack event this turn, forward momentum now removes five threat. And I'll remove it from the main scheme. Is that right? It was, no, this one. Did I do that right? 12, I think. Should be 12. I think it should be 12. Okay. Um, that's all I can do. All right. Yep, let's ready and draw. All right. All right, so during the villain phase, we're going to get four onto the main scheme. Um, and then what happens? He activates against the main player, or the, the first player. In this case, Star-Lord, do you defend? Oh. Uh, okay. I, I think I kind of have to, but unfortunately, I don't have a ready card this time around, which is actually not terrible. It's not great, um, because I can still do that, then I can do that. Um, I'm gonna have to defend it. I didn't have a place to put this, <laughs> and thankfully, I did. So he does one point of damage, right? Um, no, because no, he his attack is he starts at a uh, base of two, and, so there's and four you have two boosts, so a total of four. And your defense... I defend for oh, I only defend for one. Yep, so you are defeated. So, however, I might want it. Yep. Forced interrupt. When a player is defeated, they set their hit counter to zero and flip into alter ego. So, oops. I am at one. All right. All right. All right. Um, I have to tank it. Uh, so he does four to me, bringing me to three. Eric. I'm going to defend. And 
I get again? I can't read it. How many <laughs> boost icons did I get? One. One boost. One. So I take two because I'm defending for two. That's where I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, why did you take two points? Because I defended for two. So he did four. Right. And why I did he do he four? Has a base attack three. of two. There were two icons. There's one icon. He attacks for two and then a boost icon. You had one boost mm -hmm. icon. I had two boost icons. No, you Where had you... one boost icon, Eric. I had one bite. Okay, then I should have taken just one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, did we do main threat? No. No, I don't think we did. No. So we're up at twenty. Um. All right, and do we have any extra cards? I don't think so. So I'm going to get, no, Alan's going to get the first. I get the second. Uh, attach to the enemy with the lowest attack. Spend resources. Oof. <laughs> three attacks. Oh, boy. Oh, All right, so that's going to do plus three damage on the connector. Three fist resources will get ah. rid of the Cloak of Hercules. Now he's got a punch. <laughs> uh, I've got Stay a While in a hero form. Collector attacks you with plus one attack. If you take any amount of damage from that attack, put the top card of your deck face up into the collector. So part of the reason I took damage last turn was in case we needed to defend. But I guess I didn't need it. So I am going to defend for two. Um, let's see how bad this is. So we're starting at five? Six. Because I... stay a while gives plus one attack. Stay a while... So, starting at six, my defense is two, brings it down to four. Um, awesome. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, I take four damage. I am defeated again. You are defeated. <laughs> Eric? Oh, Jesus. Uh, do I have to even bother? <laughs> You're the cosmos. <laughs> Go, can you not uh, read it? Uh, I was going to look it's up. The, basically, put the highest cost card into either the collection or as threat, the main scheme. Uh, the highest cost card in my hand? In your hand. Yeah. Uh, so that Quasar. I don't care. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Is annoying. <laughs> Yes, he is. Uh, uh, but we've gotten through stage one. Um, I think we're going to end it here and have some discussions behind the scenes about do we play this out with the two of you? Do we reassess our um, our decks and try again? Or do we just move on to the next opponent? 
there's no conversation if we're if we're gonna do collector i want a new deck i i will i will customize my deck for this this jerk <laughs> um <laughs> I, I i i know exactly what i would do for for this guy um so that would be i i would vote for re rejiggering and coming back and trying again all right um but I don't know. You guys, you guys could Alan, what do you feel like? No, let's try it again. Um, I eventually want to go back and um, beat up on the gang that beat us up last time and figure out a way to beat them too. So uh, <laughs> right and true. Uh, right and true again. <laughs> do not All like right. those guys. <laughs> well, we'll give it a sh we'll give it a shot. We will um, retreat from the um, the museum that we are infiltrating or something. Uh, something like that. I don't remember. Sorry. Re having reconnoitered the first round, we'll take a shot, see if we can figure out what we're doing wrong, what we want to do different, and uh, come back and try again. Because, you know, how often do you get to watch us lose twice in a row? surprisingly often right now we, <laughs> we were doing so well and then <laughs> well i want to thank everyone for watching along with us i do appreciate the uh the company it works even better when i actually start streaming when we start the game so we're going to try <laughs> to catch that next time um alan eric thank you so much for joining me as always this is a lot of fun even when i get the crap beat out of me and before you guys are. Um, so hopefully we can try this again and maybe do a little bit better. All right. Thank you all for playing. Thank you for watching along. Have a good night, everyone.